a lot of times when you when you got the knee, the reverse of the heel here, you try to get the knee cut like this, right? But if you keep the uh, the knee towards the side of the floor, sometimes the lahiba hook of your opponent is really strong. Okay, he can he can start like, pushing you forward like this and start going inside you. Even if you grab the the arm like this, he's still with a really good knee cut. But even like if you <coughs> if you let go the if you let go the the reverse of the lahiba and you start putting your your knee on the floor, he's still able like to underhook your leg, right? I grab your, my leg like this, okay? And then sometimes you have a hard time to pass the guard for you, okay? So what are we gonna do to undo the reverse of the heel? We go back and we're gonna put a lot of pressure on his stomach, okay? So I'll control the collar. I'll grab the sleeve. Most of the time my opponent will be controlling me, right? I'm gonna be holding my sleeves or grabbing collar sleeve. I like to grab with my hand like under his arm like this okay so I'll grab here so it's just like standing up right when your opponent make a grip on you you gotta make a grip on him okay, no matter what so don't don't fight with your opponent making grips on you and you're not making grip on your opponent okay so if your opponent make grip on you like you gotta make grip as well okay but this is a better grip for me because I'm controlling under his arm okay? So I'll stand up the outside leg, okay? Controlling this hand here will prevent you to go underneath of me or grabbing my, my leg, okay? So now look, I'm gonna push his shoulder to the floor, pulling his arm to me, and putting my kneecap on top of his stomach, like this, okay? So I'll put a lot of pressure here. I can pull the collar to me right now, pull in the sleeve, and put a lot of pressure. Tiago is feeling a lot of pressure right now. Tiago will try to, to sit we try to move me and then I'll just maintain him. That's the, that's the first part of the training right now, okay, of the technique. So I'll be here controlling him, I'm pulling, I'm pushing, I put a lot of weight on him, okay? I gotta control uh, him like this. All right, I need to have a good balance, okay? I can close my leg if I need, okay? Putting my knee really, really heavy on him. Also, when I go with my knee over his stomach, it's hard for him to work with the last on this side, okay? So more he turns to this side, easier for him to get the lasso here. Okay, more I turn into this way here, flatting him on the floor, it's harder for him to get the lasso. Even if you get the lasso here, I can start pulling and then start being really low, okay? I'm not gonna be here for a long time, just for, for a while, okay? Just for like five seconds, maybe, or even less, right? During the fight. So I'm here in Thiago, he's making grips. So I go one, two, and now I start putting weight on him. So my knee goes right on top of his stomach, okay? I'm not pointing my kneecap to the floor. First, I go to the stomach. So I undo the little heel, okay? I want you guys to do like this. Step one, control, pull. He's gonna move a little bit, you control. Now in step two, you go to the knee cut, like this, okay? But once you get the knee cut here, all right? A lot of times it's really hard for you to finish the knee cut holding like this. Okay? Especially if you're a point to underhook your arm and start being sideways. Right? Because sometimes I pass like this, he's gonna turtle, 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 and then I end up losing the position. Okay? What I'm gonna do here is this. So I grab his collar. Uh, you can grab the cross collar too. I prefer to grab this side because I can push his shoulder to the floor. Since I want to flat him on the, on the floor. Okay? So I push his shoulder here pull the hand and push with my knee. So he's controlling me here. I go like this. Like this. And a lot of weight on my kneecap. Okay? Your weight is on the kneecap, is not on your, your foot. Okay? So I'm not like sitting on my foot here. It's more like on my kneecap. I can take my foot off the mat like this. Now I got a knee cut. I got a knee cut. I have my, my hips like leaning towards him. I already beat the knee shield as well when I do that, okay? He's gonna underhook my arm, so what I'm gonna do now is change my grip here. So I grab here, and I put my forearm on top of his arm, having his elbow close to his, to his body. Now, now with this hand right here, my free hand, I will go under his elbow, okay? Right here, control the elbow, and I'll pass like this. Try to turtle. 
It's really hard for me to turn it. Okay? Because I'm blocking his elbow. So when I when I go with my my hand here, I don't go like this. Okay? I, I need to go under the elbow here. Okay? So he's trying to turtle, like trying to turtle, I'm here. I can grab it with my thumb inside his his collar or four fingers inside. Once I do this, I can start underhook the other arm too. Okay, if I find a space, I can underhook the other arm, which is great for me. Then I pass his guard. Once I pass his guard, remember that you need to go back with your hips, close to his hips, and then tip toes on the mat so you have a good pressure on him. And then establish the side control. I like this underhook here on this side a lot, okay? Because also, if I want, I can force my opponent to start turtle, giving the back to me. And when he's, when he's turning like this, he offered me a lot of things. Chokes, kimuras, right? The back, okay? I can have a lot of options here. Arm bars, okay? One more time. This is a pressure knee cut. Okay, so you gotta pass with pressure, right? It's not gonna be like, just like this, okay? So here, you put the pressure, he's gonna move, okay? Sometimes he's gonna turn this way, we're gonna work on this later, okay? But a lot of times he wants to go back to his reverse leg, but go back to the reverse leg, I just stay here. Now, go for the knee cut, control, rest with my wrist, uh, with my elbow here, my forearm here. Don't put your forearm on the neck, okay? So he's here, blocking his arm, underhook his arm, grab the collar, under the other arm, hand on the floor, knee cut. Now, I got the pass, okay? And what I wanna do when I, when I underhook his arm is to torque and force him to face the other side, okay? Again, he needs to feel really uncomfortable when I'm passing. So he's, he's controlling here, I control it. Step one, see? Don't control like this, okay, here. Don't control like this. So go under. And go and grab. Okay. And then you go back, push, 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 and pull him right now and just pressure here on his stomach. Once you feel the hip hook is not working anymore, and you got the knee cut now. Control, under hook, okay? Under hook the other arm. He's gonna be fighting here. Go. Trap my, my leg. Don't let me pass. Okay? He's trapping your leg. Okay? So you can use you can use your butt to push the top leg, okay? So he's here, you turn your, go, close. I use my butt like this, and I take my foot out. So push with my butt, take my foot out. Now, I go close to his hips, control, and I establish the guard pass. It's really hard for him to move, okay? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a good pressure, okay? So if you, Eat a lot of breakfast, just the other point. Let's go put some pressure in your stomach, okay? You guys have any questions? Yes, sir. The other thing that you have, are you pulling automatically, or are you, is your right hand going towards the mat and your left arm going up? Yeah, so first I push him to flatten on the floor. Once my kneecap goes in his stomach, I pull. Okay, so I go. First I need to turn his sideways, like that way. First I go one. And now when I, my kneecap is on his stomach, and then I pull. Then I keep here. Now it's a, it's a balance right now. So he's trying to sit up, push. He's trying to push me that way, I pull. Then I got a knee cut. Then I go here. Okay? All right, let's work. One, two, three. This is not a speed pass, okay? There, there's some knee cuts that I go really fast like this. But you see that I give space, and if I find someone really flexible and faster than me, they recover the guard. So this one is slow. You pass like really slow, okay? So you go with the pressure. So I grab, he's gonna control me here. I go step one, and then step two, I control the collar. I push him just to put my kneecap on the, on the stomach. After I push him, after I'm here, I start using my kneecap right between his chest and his belly, right on the upper part of his stomach, okay? I'm not putting my knee on his belly button. My knee is more like on, almost on his chest, okay? Right here. It's a lot of pressure. So I'm pulling him and pushing here. Now I go to the knee cut, okay? And when I go for the knee cut, I still pull in here, you see? 
And now look, I don't hurry, I don't hurry on past his leg. I staple his bottom leg, his bottom leg on purpose. Okay, because I could do this. I could be here, I could do this. Really fast. But then he's gonna turn them. Because the bottom leg is free. He's gonna turn them. Okay? So I need to I need to staple this leg here. Okay, staple and stay here. He's gonna move like crazy, right? He's probably gonna try to use this knee to push you forward like this. Okay, so use this leg on the floor. So he try to push you, you push him back. Okay? Don't drop this knee on the floor because now if you push me, then I will lose my balance. Okay? So first I got here. And once I got here, I changed my grip. Everyone understood that? So I changed my grip. In the meantime, Thiago is trying to bring his elbow underneath of him. He's trying to do this, exactly. I can grab his head, yes I can. But when I grab the head, I still have the elbow free. Okay, so he still I can turn. So focus on aiming here. So you see like, your thumb goes right under his elbow. And I see some of you guys going here. No, go right here, under the elbow. Okay, now you grab the collar. So now, when I'm here, I can underhook the other arm, and then I start twerking, putting the knee down. And then, that's the guard. So I want to force him to face that way, okay? By doing that, he's gonna give it up on heavy on the half guard, okay? You guys understand? So now, I want to see more, like, just like in the fight. So he's grabbing you here, you control. Once you get here, you tear your partner to move, you just control him. I want this pull here, okay? And now you go, try to your partner to move, you control. Tear a partner to move, you control. You keep just controlling him. Just keep a good pressure on him. Pull him using the leg to push. Like I'm using the leg to push my weight on him. Okay, my leg is not just here. I'm pushing. And every time you try to use the upper leg, the top of the top leg to to push me that way, like kicking my using his knee on my butt, I'm I'm using this. And remember, if I lose the arm, he's gonna underhook my leg. Okay, but in this moment here is bad for him already. Okay, but like by letting go of the hand, he's, he can sit up right now, elbow on the floor like this. So that's bad for me. See now, even if I pass, he's gonna he's gonna scramble. Okay, so I'm eliminating all these scrambles there by doing what I'm doing right now. Okay, so you just push to put the knee on the stomach, and after the knee is on his stomach, pull. And remember, the knee is more like close to the chest, not on the belly button. Okay, so he's grabbing here. I go step one. Step two, I push, and now I pull. Okay, and now I go. All right, so I need to have the grips, okay? All right, and then little by little, and remember, the last thing is not grabbing the head, but try to go here, under the elbow. Okay? If his elbow is hitting like this, go with your arm here, okay? Your hand goes right under his elbow, and then you walk like this, and you grab. And your foot is gonna get out from the half guard, don't worry. Just stay here, he's, he's really uncomfortable here. Okay, little by little, you take your foot out, and once he moves, you pass. Okay, just, just take your time. This is like a slow cooking type of guard pass, you know? Yeah, like uh, Thanksgiving turkey that you need to keep like for hours, <laughs> right? So you just like go little by little. Don't go like too fast. Take your time. All right, let's do it again. One, two, three. It's gonna be like a specific training, okay? I just want you to hold the position. We're gonna do two times. You're gonna hold for 20 seconds. Okay, 20 seconds just holding. You gotta be floating on top of your opponent here. And remember, like, when you get here, CC cannot sit up, try to sit up. He can't sit up, okay? Because I'm pulling and put pressure on him. He's gonna try to kick using this leg between my legs to kick me forward like this. Okay, and I cannot post my hands or, or do anything like that because then he's gonna get space, so he creates space and he's gonna turn and come up on a single leg or he's gonna escape. So I'll keep my grips the whole time and if I need to use this leg, I can post my leg forward, okay? Since I'm controlling the sleeve here, the problem of posting this leg forward without controlling the sleeve is this, right, he's gonna underhook. But if I'm having a really good grip, if you try to kick me forward like here, I put my weight a little bit down, okay? If you try to sit up, I put my weight more forward, 
So I need to have this balance. Every time he's trying to sit up, I stay a little bit taller. Every time he tries to kick me forward, I go a little bit lower. So I need to like just manage this pressure with my knee right on the external, right? External, external right here. Okay? A lot of pressure there. So you're gonna hold just for for 20 seconds when I tell you to pass and then you pass. Because that's the intention of this pass. You gotta make uh, the guy feel that you have a really good pressure and he's kinda like, please pass my guard, <laughs> you know? That's what happened. So he's he's gonna be he's gonna be feeling a lot of pressure in his stomach, he's gonna push your knee to the side. He's gonna, oh man, he cut me, please, you know, and pass. And that's the intention when you get here, not that you'll be me, it's just a technique, you know, it's a way for you to, to have a good pressure on top. So you're gonna be here, and then usually he's gonna push my knee to the side. Like push my yeah, like this, and then I end up like on the knee cut. Okay? And like I say, like sometimes when I do this, he starts turning to the other side, like this. But there's no problem because I can start side smashing on this side. I can pass the guard like this way, like a long step. Okay? You can do that as well. We're gonna learn that uh, tomorrow. Okay, but right now it's just gonna do that. Alright? Control, control, control. When I tell you to pass, you pass as a knee cut. The personal model just keep moving, okay? And just try to react and try to explode, try to escape, okay? I know sometimes you're gonna fail right on the top because it's the first time you're doing a technique, but that's the intention of the training. The intention is to, to allow you to maintain the technique as long as you can. Anytime you want, you pass. That's the intention, okay? All right, let's go. One, two, three. Yeah,